Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in Lassi dielectric medium. Before going to solve the problem, let's discuss important formulas used in this Lassi dielectric. The first one is propagation constant gamma. It can be represented as alpha plus j beta that is equal to square root of j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon. Its unit is 1 by meter that is meter power minus 1 inverse of meter. Okay. So here alpha represents the attenuation constant that is the real part of this propagation constant. Beta is the phase shift constant that is the imaginary part. So this formula is important in this Lassi dielectric problem. Okay. So the next one is intrinsic impedance eta. Eta is equal to square root of j omega mu by sigma plus j omega epsilon. Its unit is ohm. Okay. So next velocity of propagation v that is equal to omega by beta. So omega is nothing but 2 pi f. Okay. Its unit is meter per second. So next wavelength lambda is equal to 2 pi by beta. Here its unit is meter. Then the attenuation constant alpha. It can be obtained by using the formula alpha is equal to omega into square root of mu epsilon by 2 into square root of 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon the whole square minus 1. Its unit is Nepper bell meter. So phase constant or phase shift constant beta is equal to the same formula. So instead of minus we can use plus sign for this phase constant. Its unit is radian per meter. Do you all understand this one? Let's solve important problems in Lassi dielectric. For Lassi dielectric material the conductivity sigma is not equal to zero. So first problem for a lossy dielectric material having mu r is equal to 1, epsilon r is equal to 48, sigma is equal to 20 Siemens per meter, calculate the propagation constant at a frequency of 16 gigahertz. So here the properties of the lossy dielectric material are given. We are going to find out the propagation constant at a frequency of 16 gigahertz. Okay. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. So the first one is mu r that is the relative permeability is equal to 1. The relative permittivity epsilon r is equal to 48. The conductivity of the material is 20 Siemens per meter. The operating frequency is 16 gigahertz. 16 giga means into 10 to the power 9. Okay, so now we are going to find out the propagation constant gamma that is equal to alpha plus j beta. So what is the formula for this propagation constant? Square root of j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon. So in this one we can write this omega as 2 pi f mu as mu naught into mu r sigma as it is j omega as 2 pi f epsilon as epsilon naught epsilon r. Then we can substitute the values of f mu naught mu r sigma epsilon naught epsilon r. So what is the value of f here? 16 gigahertz that means 16 into 10 to the power 9 mu naught that is the constant value 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu r as 1 into sigma that is 20 plus j 2 pi f value is 16 into 10 to the power 9 epsilon naught value is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 epsilon r value as 48. So next we are going to simplify this terms using calculator. So we have to multiply all this term then we can get j 1, 2, 6, 3, 3, 0 for this term multiplied with 20 plus we can 
multiply all these terms here, then we can get J 42.7248. Okay, for further simplification, we can multiply this term inside this bracket. Then we can get J25266 double zero. Here we can get J into J, J square. So here we can multiply this term with this value. We can get 5397424. As we all know that J squared is equal to what? Minus 1. So we can write this term as minus, here we can write the real term in the front that is gamma is equal to square root of minus 537424 plus the imaginary term J2526600. Okay, so it is in the complex term that is rectangular form. So if we want to take the square root value then we can convert this rectangular form to polar form. Polar means the magnitude along with the phase. Okay. So for that we can use the calculator. Let me show you how to convert rectangular to polar form. Okay. So here we can use the calculator. So in this one we can take this calculator. The first step is to select the mode. So you can press mode and select 2 ok simply press 2 you can see the mode is changed to CMPLX ok what is the first step mode and press 2 ok after selecting the complex mode then we are going to type the complex value as it is what is that value so minus 5 3 9 7 4 2, 4. Correct? Then what is the next value? Plus imaginary term is 2, 5, 2, double 6, double 0. So that is I term, J term. So that can be represented using this shift and ENG. So that is nothing but imaginary term. So now we have typed the real term plus the imaginary term. We want to convert this rectangular to polar form. So for that we can select this shift symbol and then press here the plus symbol. Okay. So shift plus means polar form. So actually we have typed the rectangular form. It has to be converted into polar form. So that is given here. Correct. So then you can press equal to sign. You can see that. The magnitude value is 5959521.239. So we can select only this value and we want to get the angle also. For that you can simply press shift and then equal to sign. You can see the angle is 154.91. Do you all understand this one? So that is rectangular to polar form. Okay, simply select the mode as complex, okay, by pressing this 2 and then we can type the complex value as it is and then press shift and plus sign to convert into polar. Okay, then press equal to sign to get the magnitude. For getting that angle, you can press the shift and then equal. Do you all understand this one? After getting this polar form, so we are going to take the square root value. For this magnitude, you can straight away take the square root. So we can get the value as 2441.213. So for this angle, if you are going to take the square root for the angle, it is very simple. We can simply divide this value by 2. So we can get 77.45 degree. So this is the propagation constant value in terms of polar form. But we want to get the rectangular form. So it is very simple using the same procedure to convert polar to rectangular. So let's discuss that with the calculator. So again we have to take the calculator and go to this mode. You have to make sure that. So here the mode is only complex mode. 
simply type the magnitude what is the magnitude here 2441.213 correct that is the magnitude value what about the angle 77.45 so for getting the angle here in this you can simply press and then here the angle symbol is there right over the hyphen so press hyphen shift hyphen you can see this angle form then you can give the value as 77.45 degree so we want to convert this polar form into rectangular for that you can select shift okay then minus sign that is to convert this polar into a plus bi that is rectangular form then you can simply press equal then you can get the real term 530.455 for getting the imaginary value press shift and then equal you can get the imaginary term as 2382.88 do you all understand this one so it is very simple to convert polar to rectangular form okay so now we have obtained the propagation constant is 530.455 plus j 2382.88 meter power minus 1 so this is the answer okay so from this we can calculate the attenuation constant as well as beta so alpha is equal to what now that is attenuation constant is nothing but the real term 530.455 its unit is Nepper bar meter for phase shift constant the imaginary term that is 2382.88 its unit is radian per meter okay